For the last probably four months or so, this outside light has been broken. Now that's not been too much of an issue during the summer, but now with winter here, it's about time we got it sorted and get a new one fitted. So when we wired the outside light, we put this switch up here so it can be isolated. So if we switch that off, that means there's no power now going to that light so we can work on it and swap it over without having to turn it off at the breaker. Firstly, apologies for the road noise. It's kind of echoing down the passageway, but Hopefully with this mic you can at least make out what I'm saying. So because this is an outside light that's actually under cover, the electrics for it where the wiring is has just been taped up rather than using a waterproof like junction box or a waterproof connector. So first thing we need to do is just take this tape off. You can probably see there's bits of mud on the back of this. This is where the birds have tried to make a nest, but I'm guessing being scared off by the light coming on and off once it's got dark. So I don't know if that's what's broken this light. I would guess probably it is. So there's that tape off and you can see underneath is just a standard connector. Now we've already obviously disconnected, that was loud, we've already isolated the power to here but I'm just going to test it and yeah there's no power coming into here now so we can work on this without obviously having to avoid those live cables. check and see if there's any sign of moisture because if there was I could put a waterproof box in here but there doesn't seem to be this is completely undercover so there's no chance of rain or anything getting to it and this comes down lower so it's not even like the wind can blow in it's completely sheltered there's obviously when it's outside there's always chance of moisture getting in but the tape seems to have done the job fine. I think I did this, I think I taped the wire when the, uh, there was sign of birds on it, so that they didn't sort of rip the wire out or anything, but obviously they never made a full nest on here, so it didn't end up being a big issue. So there's that cable. And then we're just gonna take this bracket off and we can get the new one on. This is the new light we've got. Slightly smaller version, but should be absolutely fine. Doesn't actually need to be that bright in this passageway. It's just to give it a little bit extra light. Just gonna have to loosen off these allen bolts because oh they've been done seriously tight for no reason not really sure why these have been done up so tight there's there's no need for it i'm actually gonna have to take the whole bracket off to get it mounted on the wall because the impact driver won't actually fit in. It 
doesn't have to be mega tight, just obviously need to nip it up. Then we can reattach this. This is just a little 10 watt light. It doesn't, like I say, it doesn't need to be massively bright. <coughs> I'll tweak the angle of this after because I'll need to set the sensitivity of this up on the sensor. Because if they're if it's too sensitive, the light comes on when cars drive past the front, which obviously isn't ideal. It's only 10 watts, but you obviously don't want it coming on all the time. So yeah, it's just simple wiring, blue. Um, green and yellow and brown, so blue, it's your neutral, your live, it's your brown, and then your earth. We we'll just match them up exactly on here. Dead easy. Cable in, tighten the block up. So I'll go back in the house and I'll flip the switch on, and then hopefully you'll see this light come on, and I'll come back out. Always good when it works first time, and there's the sensor working. So like I say, because this is undercover, I'm just going to take these wires again. Rather than using um, a waterproof connector. So I've come back out to do the sensitivity and stuff now because it was too light earlier so I've taped up the um, taped up the connector and now I just need to work the um, sensor because I'll show you where the sensor currently turns on so we're at the entrance of the passageway just wait for that to go off So we're about halfway, three quarters, it goes on just here. So obviously we want it to come on back there. So I'm gonna tweak the sensitivity and then test it again. So I'm just turning the sensitivity up a bit. I think the time's probably all right. So let's go. Down here, test it out again. Not much difference. I'll turn it right up and then I'll work like back from that rather than working up to it. That wasn't much different. Just gonna try and tweak the angle as well. What I might just try is actually spinning the whole thing around. And then the sensor is pointing further down. Try it again. Let's go again through the gate. Yeah, that's better. So that came on about here. So you're like less than two meters in from the uh, in from the gate. Just do it one more time. That's the gate pretty much at the gate that time and then I'm just going to try it from this side so this is 
that's our gate there so I'm going to do it as if I'm coming out of the gate as well it's coming out of the gate goes on just just as you pass the ladder so that's spot on perfect and I've taped you can't really see the wires but the wires are just bundled up under there all taped up protected from the elements so there we go jobs are good and another job ticked off the list and at least now it's winter we'll be able to actually see our way up the passageway rather than having to put your phone light on or having to carry a torch in the car or something so thank you as always for watching please subscribe to the channel yeah. noisy cars thank you as always for watching please subscribe to the channel it really does help out and i'll see you in the next one